Hi everybody, my name is Nader and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving you a quick tour of the Sydney fish market. Um, now, if you don't know, the Sydney fish market is actually one of the largest fish markets in the world. It's actually the third largest. So there will be a lot of things to see, a lot of unique and exotic seafood to try over here. So I'm excited to show you around over here and to explore with you the Sydney fish market. Let's have a look. So I'm inside the market right now and one of the first things that you'll notice as soon as you walk in is the smell of fresh fish. Now for me, I love that smell. It's, uh, it's something that really opens my appetite up. And there's a lot of fish that, that you don't see in probably in other fish markets. Um, a lot of exotic fish I see over here, a lot of oysters. Um, they've got also some cool sashimi bars and I really like this aburi bar that I always come to when I come to the fish market. They basically have scallops that they torch they have they use a torch to actually grill the scallops and they have cheese and they have rice with it so I'm gonna try it in a bit so let's continue our tour and show you a little bit more around check this out this looks really delicious and the teriyaki sauce sprinkle of seaweed and some fish roll Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that, that scallop is so delicious. Especially with the mixture of rice, cheese, and the fish roll. They all really go well together. Highly recommended. Plus that teriyaki sauce gives it that sweetness that really goes well with the whole scallop. Okay everyone, after that scallop that we just tried, I've been recommended to uh, try the uh, Pacific Oysters, which are probably 45 years old actually, 4 to 5 years old. And uh, I'm gonna give this a try. I'll get half a dozen. And you'll try one, one, one. And I'll try one of the uh, Pacific Oysters. Yep. All right then. What about the uh, sea urchin? Do you, would you recommend that as well? Oh, why not? Yeah? That's the fresh the sea urchin. All right guys, I've, I've never actually tried a sea urchin, so I might go for one of those. I don't know how it will taste like, but uh, you know what? It's an adventure, so why not? Right, so I just got my oysters. This is the Hawkesbury River oyster. So. Look at the size of this thing, it's, it's massive. It's the size of, of my palm almost. All right then, I'm gonna sprinkle some lemon over here and here we go. All right, here we go. Hmm. The texture is actually a bit funny. The part in the middle is a bit chewy and the parts on the outside were a bit slimy and it's sort of weird to be honest. But but I like it. It's actually nice. It's quite refreshing. It does taste a little bit like a little bit salty actually. The flavor it's like a bit of a flavor of the sea you can almost taste in those Oysters. All right then, I'm just gonna use my hands. Here goes nothing. Mm. Mm. No, this one's really good. I think I'd enjoy a smaller bite. This was too much to bite, to be honest. But these ones are just perfect. You know, a smaller bite, very refreshing. 
with a squeeze of lemon, they're just perfect. I really like them. So, for me, oysters, they're a recommended snack. All right, now I'm gonna be trying the sea urchin. It was a live sea urchin. Wow, look at that. That is very interesting. So, we've got this yellow color sort of insides of the sea urchin. Actually, tastes quite good. Actually, it's very refreshing. Not a strong sea taste, to be honest. I'll add a bit of lemon as well. Mm. Mm. Definitely more delicious with lemon has a bit of a creamy texture, the sea urchin. Guys, the seagulls are surrounding me. I've gotta finish this quick before they start snatching my food. Now, another cool thing I noticed is what, that when you come here, you can actually do your grocery shopping as well as your fish shopping over here. You can buy your groceries. I see there's a grocery store behind me. You can buy meat as well. And and that's a pretty cool thing. It's like a one-stop shop for your everyday grocery shopping. Add to that that you can also buy fresh fish over here. You know what else you can do over here is that you can actually buy your fish and they can cook it for you. You can just choose what sort of sauce you want to have with the fish and they'll cook it for you. Just I think it's $15 per kg. Right, so now I'm gonna go for a grilled barramundi. They also have cooked food, like I said, you can order as you're ordering from a restaurant. Um, and it's good to have this sort of variety and this sort of options over here. I like that. That barramundi is so delicate. It literally falls off with with my fork. It's mm. you know you can tell the difference between frozen and fresh fish. This is definitely fresh. I'm gonna try it with some tartar sauce. I love with my fish tartar sauce to be honest. Mm. The chips are also very crispy. I'm used to calling them fries but over here in Australia, they refer to them, to them as chips. Now, of course, I can't leave here without having a dessert. So this is this great little spot that I uh, usually like to have uh, my dessert from. It's called Mashi Mashi. It's just up ahead and they have really delicious sort of milk and fruit infused milk. Um, I'm gonna have a drink from there. Another really cool thing I like about this place is that there's a public outdoor seating where you have a beautiful view of the Anzac Bridge. And uh, when the sun is out, it's just beautiful to come over here and enjoy, enjoy your time with family, with your friends, and in the, enjoy, of course, the fresh seafood. Um, other than that, to wrap things up, there's really a lot to see over here when you come to the Sydney fish market. Um, it's 
pretty centrally located within the city. It's easy to get to by rail. Uh, even if you have a car, you can park your car in the parking over here, in the paid parking, and you can actually take the bus as well and it will uh, drop you next to the fish market. So all in all, I really enjoyed my experience over here. Highly recommend you guys to try it out. Thanks you guys for tuning in. If you like this content, please leave a like and tell me in the comments down there what you think about this episode and if you've come here before and if you would like to come here, what would you try? All right then, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.